Hi, in this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this function. We have f of x equals two plus three times the natural log of x. Let's go ahead and just do it, solution. So the very first step, so step one, when finding the inverse of a function is to replace your function with a variable. I like to use y. So step one, just let y be equal f of x. So just call it y. And then so here we have this stuff here, so two, plus three ln x. The second step is to switch the x and the y. So instead of y, I'm going to call it x. So you basically just interchange them. And this is two plus three ln y. So again, step one, replace f of x with y. Step two, you switch your x and y. Then step three is to actually solve for y. So in this problem, the y is inside the natural log. So we'll start by trying to isolate this piece here. So we need to get rid of this two. Since it's a positive two, we can subtract two, subtract two. So we have x minus two is equal to three natural log of y. All right, and again, we're still trying to get the natural log of y by itself. So maybe we can divide by three because it's being multiplied by a three. So when we divide by three, we'll be able to cancel it. So this is divided by three, divided by three. So we have x minus two over three equals the natural log of y. Okay, we're almost done. The next step is a key step. Recall if you have e, to the natural log of x, that this is actually equal to x. This is a super powerful formula. And so what we're going to do now is in order to get rid of the ln, we're going to what's called exponentiate both sides. I'm gonna put an e here, and I'm going to put an e here. And basically all of this is the exponent. So this is e to the x minus two over three equals e to the ln y, but from our formula, this is just y, right? because it's just like x, the x, x, y, y. These basically cancel and you just get y, right? They cancel and you just get x. And let's go ahead and write the y on the left-hand side. So this is y equals e, the x minus two over three. Very nice. And the fourth step is to write the answer using the proper notation. So our original function was f of x, so we want to write it using the inverse notation, which is f inverse of x. Basically, you replace the y with this notation here. And this is e to the x minus 2, all divided by 3. And so this would be the answer to this problem. This would be the inverse function. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.